Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can install the latest version of MySQL Workbench on Windows 10. So the latest version is MySQL 8.0.23. So we will install the Workbench for the same. At first, we will download it. Go to the browser. We are using Chrome. You can use any browser. Here and type MySQL. Press enter. On pressing enter, official website is visible. Click on it. Now click on downloads. From here in guys, go to MySQL Community GPL downloads. From here in download the MySQL Workbench. Click on it. Here it is MySQL Workbench 8.0.23 current version. Microsoft Windows select it right. It's fine. Here is the installer for 64 bit OS. So we need to just download it. It's only 38 MB. Click on download. Now here in no thanks, just start my download. We don't need to log in it. Click on it to download. Now it is downloading. You need to wait for a few seconds. To download completed. Double click on it to install. Minimize this. Here is the setup. Click on next. So it will get installed in the program files MySQL and a new folder MySQL Workbench will get created. If you want to change the location, click on here. But I think it's fine. Click on next. Do you want complete installation or custom? I'll go for the default complete installation. I'll click on next. So it will get installed at the same location. Click on install. Now the installation started. So guys, the setup finished installing. It will automatically launch it because it got checked on its own. I'll click on finish and it will launch it. Here it is guys. So guys, here in you can see MySQL Workbench could not detect any MySQL server. So we need to install MySQL server also. So let's see how we will install MySQL 8.0.23 on Windows 10. Minimize this, go to the browser again. Let's again go to Google and type MySQL. After pressing enter, the official website is visible. You can straight away click on downloads or you can also click on MySQL community downloads. But I'll click on MySQL.com and then I'll go to downloads. Below, click on MySQL community GPL downloads. Now from here, at first we installed Workbench. Now we will install MySQL installer for Windows. Click on it. Now guys, here is the installer visible. MySQL installer 8.0.23. So herein we will install the following MSI installer. 422 MB. Click on it to download. Click on it to download. Now the download will start. You need to wait for a few seconds. So guys, you can see we installed the MySQL installer community version. It's uh, 422 MB as you can see here. Here is the size 422 MB. You can see we installed it from here. Now double click on it to install. Minimize this. Now the MySQL installer is starting. We will install MySQL server. So here in guys, you can see MySQL installer is showing that we already installed MySQL workbench. We just installed it 8.0.23. Now guys, we need to install MySQL server. So I'll click on add. Now here it is MySQL server. Click the drop down and here in you can see MySQL 8.23 move here by clicking the arrow. Here it is. Now under applications, you can see shell is visible. I want shell also. I'll just click on drop down and we'll drag 8.0.20 through here. Here it is. We installed MySQL Workbench, so we won't add it. If you want to add connectors also, you can just select from here and just drag to install them. So guys, now we need to install both of them, server and shell. I'll click on next. Now ready to install both server and shell click on execute it will take some time to install so 
So guys, as you can see here, we successfully installed MySQL Server and Shell. Now I'll click on Next. Product configuration ready to configure? Yes, click on Next. Here is the type and networking. You need to keep it same. Port number it has taken is double three zero six. Now click on Next. Use strong password authentication method. By default, it is recommended. It's fine. I'll use a strong password. Click on next. Now add the password for MySQL root. You need to remember this. You need to enter the password of your choice. Remember. So I entered a password. Now you can add a user account here straight away if you want. Let's add. I'll add username Amit. Host. Let's say I'll keep it as localhost because we are running here only. Role. Let us give it DB admin. Password. Let us add a password for new user. So our user is Amit. Host is localhost. Now what we need to do? Click on OK. Now you can see we created a new user. Now click on Next. It is the Windows service visible here. The Windows service name is MySQL80. It will start the MySQL server at System Startup. It's fine. Now I'll click on next. Apply configuration, click on execute. It will it will take some time to execute. Click on execute. Now one by one it will complete all the steps. And it will also start the server as you can see here. So here you can see guys, the configuration is successful. The configuration steps are complete. Now click on finish. Configuration complete written here. Click on next. Now start MySQL after setup. Yes, it's fine. Installation complete. Click on finish. Now, since we have installed it, we'll go to workbench. We will go to workbench and here in click on rescan servers. Found one servers because we installed MySQL server. Now let us click on it. Enter the root password. Remember the password we entered before. Save password right. Click on OK. So you can see guys MySQL workbench is visible. So guys now let us first check that we have installed MySQL successfully or not. Go to start type CMD. Here and type MySQL hyphen hyphen version and press enter. You can see we installed MySQL server successfully. That's why you were able to log into MySQL Workbench because MySQL Server is a must for MySQL Workbench. Now let us log in. If you remember, our user was root. This looks fine now. MySQL minus u means user and minus p for password. When I'll press enter, it will ask for the password which we entered before. Enter the same password. Press enter. Now we have entered MySQL. Now let us exit it. I typed Control Z. You could have also typed Exit. So now here in guys, I am entering the server again. I am starting the server again by typing the user Amit. If you remember, besides root user, I created a new user with the name Amit and enter the password also. Now press Enter. Enter the same password which you entered at the time of creating the Amit user. I'll press Enter. Here it is. We have entered MySQL. Now let us show the databases using Show Databases semicolon press Enter. So here are all the databases visible. Now let us create a new database quickly using create database. Let's say demo DB press enter. I forgot the semicolon. Now you can see we have created a new database. Now let us check it under the show databases command. Press enter. Now you can see demo DB is visible here. That means we have created a new database successfully. If you want to learn how to create a database table and work on all the clauses and operators joins etc on MySQL you can refer the link in the description of this video wherein we have provided three hours free tutorial on MySQL moving further we were working on MySQL workbench now we will see how we can create a new database then we will see how to create tables in that database with that we will also manipulate with the tables and the data we will also learn how to select data and everything let's see now so we are inside the workbench now on the left you can see we have our schemas which is also known as database. This is the default one which gets 
created by default here these are the tables click on it here are the columns in it I'll just click on this sign to see the columns of the table and the entire table on double clicking you can see a table is visible this is a demo table and here the command is visible because we wanted to see the table so it automatically executed the query select star from table name so here are the table columns from here the indexes from here the foreign keys and triggers are visible now let's close this here what we'll do we will just create a new database and a table inside it for that here the sign is visible on keeping the cursor you can see create a new schema or you can also right click here and click on create schema let's create I have clicked on it now here add the name of your schema that is the name of a new database let's say my database name will be Amit DB1 so here you have entered a name keep the default care set as well as collision now I'll click on apply on clicking apply the review window is visible here the command to create a new schema is visible I just need to click on apply here from here you can also understand how to create a schema in workbench click on apply on clicking apply you can see SQL script was successfully applied to the database and click on finish now on the left you can see we have a new database we created Amit DB1 database now here the tables are visible double click right now nothing would be visible because we haven't created any table now here you can click on this sign to create a new table in the active schema that is the active schema is Amit DB1 the active database is Amit DB1 so you can right click on the tables and click on create table click on it on clicking you can see the UI is visible to create a table now let's add the name of the table I'll give the name employee table let's say care set and collision I'll keep the default here you can add comments so that you can refer later now we need to create columns in it so just click on this sign now the section is visible now when you will double click here it will allow you to add the first column I'll double click now you can see we can add our first column I'll double click here let's say my first column is EMP ID type ID I'll go for hint obviously primary key yes I'll set it and not null so every employee will get a unique employee ID so we have set it as primary key now to create a new column double click here let's add EMP name column it will be under var care obviously because it's a string 45 here means it will be 45 characters let's keep it to let's say 60 I'll go for 60 now let's set it not null because we want all the records for employees I'll double click here again and add employee age age will come under int so double click here and from the drop down you can select int keep it not null again let's add last field here I'll go for employee department department let's keep var care it's fine 45 it should be not null again now here you can also set the default value so this is the default constant if you won't add any value while inserting this value will get entered it's a basic table so we will leave it right now now you just need to click on apply now you can see our table got created create table employee table under four columns ID name age and department and with its data types and constraints primary key was only employee ID and the same is visible so now you also know the query for it it created on its own now click on apply SQL script was successful that means it has been successfully applied to the database click on finish now we have created employee table click on the mark again the table mark and let's see what is visible here our table is visible so I hope you know that to get values from a table you need to type select star and from then the table name so this is what we have done it automatically shows you the query so you can learn it in a better way now we have empty table we have our empty table here because we haven't added any values now let's add a value 
so here is the grid now I'll just double click here now enter the value let's say employee ID is 1 employee name let's add Tom age 25 and department let's say operations because we added worker here int here worker here and int here now let's add second value ID 2 name let's say I'll set as Emma age let's say 23 and department finance third in the same way I'll add Brad age let's say 27 and department let's say department let's say marketing fourth let's add the last record Bradley age 26 department IT let's say so we have inserted the records now you need to just click on apply I'll click on it so these are the statements for insert I hope you know that to insert records in a table you need to use insert into then the table name then you need to add the column names and then each value after the values keyword so we have added here now click on apply SQL script was successfully applied to the database click on finish now guys our table is having the following values I'll refresh here and click on the mark here table mark here are the values of a table in the same way you can create a new table I'll close this let's say right click here create table so let's add the second table I'll give the name department so here's a department table let's click on the arrow now add columns to it let's say I'll double click here department let's say I'll add department ID at first I'll set it as primary key and not null now let's add department name where care it's fine not null department zone let's say I'll set it as where care again not null so we created our second table let's click on apply here so this is how you can create a table you can see it again create table command then the table name then the values that is column name data type and constants column name data type constants and the same for the last column primary key we have set is department ID now click on apply so here we are executing successful SQL script was successfully applied to the database click on finish now on clicking tables we have two tables department and employee here it is I'll click on the mark again so this is our first table and the second table is this click on it nothing is entered here because we haven't added any values now let's add values one name let's add operations zone let's say it's north in the same way enter values for others So here we added values now just click on apply so the commands are visible again to insert values just click on apply successful again apply to the database finish so guys we created two tables employee and department under under Amit DB so guys in this video we saw how we can install MySQL workbench we first installed MySQL workbench and while opening we saw that we need server also obviously so we needed MySQL server we installed MySQL server and MySQL shell after that we logged into MySQL server while installing MySQL server we created two users one is a default always root and we also created Amit user with that after starting the MySQL server we saw how we can log in with with both our users then we saw how to create a database how to display order databases after that we also saw how we how we can work with MySQL workbench to create a new database tables and to select in it how to query and everything else so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it do subscribe to our channel amit things